Welcome back to Russian Madness, right in the middle of the fray. This is session 25, entitled Wind and Waves. We're just going to pick up right where we left off with um, the bits of combat. The round starts with Orlandis. We have a couple of effects that are present. Um, the only ones that are most worth noting are the um, blindness that's still affecting the Berserker leader and the spiritual weapon, which I believe has nine turns remaining. Um, or was it eight? Nine. Eight. No, eight. it's eight. Okay, let's go with eight. All right, Orlandis, you're up. Okay, okay. Um, uh, you know what? I'm gonna help. I wanna say finish off these people. Hell yeah. And I'm going to use Direct the Strike on her. And she will then attack. Yes, yeah. This one. And, okay. And I can't show. I can't remember, but did I give Castia wow, um, starting out strong. inspiring it word? Um, I, I gave someone temp HP last time. I think it was Maze. Okay, I think you you may have given it to me because I do have um, temp hit points right now. Hmm. Okay, so then yeah, I'm gonna give it to our rat friend. Alright. I'm gonna give him some inspiring words. Go ahead and roll it. So Bam. Nine. Nine temporary hit points for breath. Um, and no movement, right, Orlandis? Nope, I'm staying here. Cassia. Oh, hold on. I'm pretty sure you gave it to me last time, because I have ten temporary hit points, too. Oh, there someone ten. else. Uh, uh, uh Cassia. Cool. Cassia, you get nine. And then it's your turn, Cassia. So, if I recall correctly, at the end, last time, uh, the dude with two faces that only I can see started chanting out to Alan Ustero to give him strength. Yeah, the, the like leader that. there? Yep. Alright, I am going to turn to him and say very um, firmly that he would not want you to hurt me and then use hold person on him. Okay. Um, so you could say wisdom saving throw versus DC 16. He failed it. So he is held, blind, bleeding. Um, yep. All of the things. He is all of the things. Um, cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> next up is Ravik. Unless you have anything else cast here. And uh, that'll drop your uh, uh, concentration on Spirit Guardians. That's fine. Okay. Um, do we want him alive? <laughs> um, no, you can kill him. That was okay. Russian. Yeah. Well, oh. aren't Russian. No, you can kill him. Yeah. Mad, mad, mad. They could be if they wanted to attack him again. Okay. Hit. Okay. Uh, so. And you're currently wielding the Surigama only, correct? Yeah, the sickle. Okay. So that, that. Plus, uh, where is it? Merciless strike. So, what is it at this level? He currently has one, two, three conditions that are currently affecting him. So. Fuck okay. yeah. I think my max is where that put it. Fire them. Two, two d six per condition. Max is sixty six. Oh god. Okay. So then that would be the max. Sixty. Max damage. Roll six d six. Roll twenty four. <laughs> so um. Yeah, you kind of look over at uh, Cassia and Orlandis and ask if he needs to be spared. Um, Orlandis replies in the negatory. You drop low, kind of bring the sickle blade uh, across the back of his leg and just tear out um, a good uh, amount of tendon and meat. Uh, he continues to bleed everywhere. Um, he is not down yet. Um, you sh should have a bonus action. Um, you can make a second attack with the uh, weight. The other half. Yeah. 
The blunt side, you mean? Yeah. Uh, that will still hit. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so you kind of draw the leg out and then kind of bring the chain low. It's like kind of a spin, a backhanded spin. And as he's falling forward, you throw the chain whip uh, side up. Wow. The blunt <laughs> and hits him in the chin. You hear a sickening crack and he kind of flies over backwards, landing on the ground. Blood just kind of oozing out of him. Do you have any movement, Fravik? Right here. Okay. That's it. All right, Fravik done. Low say you're up. Um, well, this asshole's still up, so we're gonna Stop. swing at him again. Hit. 15. That'll kill him. Hell yeah! And then. I'm gonna move over to this asshole. Okay. Blocking and him I'm from attacking at him. your bar. Okay. Let's see? 12 will miss. <gasps> yeah. 13 is the armor class. You have advantage, but. Yeah. Low yeah. say done. I'm done. Astrogoth, you are up. I am also going to hit this dude over here. With the old dude dude. Okay. One day I'll upgrade and it'll sound more like a train, but for now it's just dude dude. <laughs> do, do. Hit hit. And you said you're attacking the one that Lose was fighting, right? Correct. Alright, solid hits. Goes to them. Um, Alright, everybody on my side. Taking, I need uh, D fours for the bleed. Um, two of them. You need D fours on one. Four and one. Oh. Thank you. And then oh. I am going to, as I have lost my leader, make a wisdom saving throw for morale. Let's see. Okay. 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 So the one that's currently getting pummeled on is going to use their action to disengage. And you can see a look of fright, kind of like as he kind of gets knocked to the ground and everyone starts hitting him. And he kind of just, like looking left to right, very scared, just kind of runs as far as he can away from Lose. Um, and I get an opportunity to attack. He disengaged. Oh, that's right. Um, so, also as he's running, you can hear him crying out in like terror um, and throwing his weapon, um, the just kind of crude axe, to the ground, um, kind of landing near the uh, tarpaulin kind of uh, rock uh, positions that they were hiding in. And it looks like he's just running straight, bolting for the forest. The other two, on the other hand, have um, are made of sterner stuff. Um, one of them has not used their crushing blow, so he will use it. Um, the other one will um, attempt to shove um, Orlandis. So Orlandis, go ahead and make an athletics or acrobatics check your choice. 17. Okay. You manage to uh, shoulder up against that individual and not get knocked back. Your feet kind of dragging onto the road a little bit. And the other one comes in with a great axe attack, which you very quickly and deftly move your shield to hit and kind of cause it to come between the two of you uh, or the three of you rather um, making them <laughs> kind of break away from you in this kind of like turtle show. Um, that's it for the Berserkers. Orlandis, you're up. Um, can I use my action to intimidate? Um, so let me see here. If you're talking about using it for a skill trick. Oh no, I don't. I can't do it then because I don't have proficiency. Yeah. If you don't have I could try. Skill tricks. So force oh. surrender, demoralize, and terrifying blow are three skill tricks that you could have if you had proficiency in intimidation. And okay. I don't think anyone in the party has it. So. Has what? Yeah. Intimidation. Uh, intimidation as a train skill, yeah. I do. Do you? <laughs> demoralize them. Um. I do. <laughs> That's weird that it wasn't. It's a very game. scary elf. Because in the, in the game, I very intently marked all of the skills that you would have 
in the skill tricks, and I have you listed as having acrobatics, athletics, history, and perception and persuasion. And Duelist gets four. Duelist gets four. Perception would be from Elf. What was your background? It's the Death Dancer. No, background. Oh, background. Sorry. Uh, background is athletic. Athlete. Huh. That's fine. Um, I mean, I'll put it, but again, we're not going to focus too much on that right now. Um, I can look at it again. Okay, but... I just... So I had it pretty well noted. Um, okay, so Orlando's done, right? Or... Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, okay. I'll I'll <laughs> use I'll use my persuasion skill trick. I'll use gold gold. Okay. Gold. It's gold. Cool, cool, cool. So um, da, da, da. let's see. Creature must make a wisdom save. Blah blah blah. Let's save. Target has this. Is, okay. Yeah. So yeah. After he missed his crushing blow. Um, Orlando will just be like, is that it? Do you really wish to defeat me? And then I'll hold my shield up and then, yeah. Fair. Um, he failed the wisdom saving throw, and, um, oh, that yeah. was from Persuasion. Cool, cool, cool. Um... And then Knight's move on Lasse, so she can go wherever she wants. Yeah, either chase or, uh, come to help Orlando, your call. Yeah. Um... Chase. And that's okay. it. Or Sorry. Landis done, Cassie. No problem. Um, Cassie, you're Take up. Sacred Flame on the one that Lose is over at now. Okay. Let's see if I can roll well on one saving throw this match. That damn 16 on the nose. Beautiful. So and then, then uh, that's gonna miss. He's running yeah. crazy. A bolt of like you know radiant sh uh, moonlight shines behind him, kind of stopping. Let's say for just a second as she's chasing after him. Um, but again, not halting her entirely. Uh, all right, Castia. Anything else? So it's just approaching the gown leader to see if she still sees a second face or anything on there. Okay. Um. No, he does not have one. Um, he is bare-chested, covered with ritualistic tattoos that do not uh, draw up any kind of notation from you, and the only thing that seems to be identifying besides um, is an amulet he wears around his neck, uh, which we'll cover in the future. Uh, Castia Dunn. Bravik. Okay. I'm right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, my weapon has reach, doesn't it? Yeah, you don't have to get that close. You could actually stand here and attack. Here, here. yeah, there we go, there we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could have used direct the strike on you. I'm going to attack the one to his right, I guess. Okay. We'll go with the sickle blade for sad. Whoosh, hit. 14. One, two. And he has Talk one about. condition currently if you want to use it. Yes, 1d6. 2d6. 2d6. Four. All right, and then uh, oh. bonus action. Throw the uh, weight. Uh, yep. Is bad. Hit as well. Twenty-four. Is this is this rat like just doing like ninja moves behind so, me? The weapon that um, Bravik is using is called a kusurigama. It's about a ten foot length of chain attached to a weight and a sickle on another end. So what Bravik is doing is basically extending the weapon out over top of you. Um, kind of jumping up high to kind of get the sickle to cut down and bite in. Then once it kind of relinquishes and they snap it up into the air, they're allowing the chain to kind of slither through their hand, the weight exchanging outwards and smacking the guy in the side of the head. Are you doing the cool thing that some people do where they kick the weight? Oh, that's that's what, that's what it was instead. The thing that he said. <laughs> whoosh, whoosh, kick. Perfect. Bravik, done. Low say you're up. Um, we're gonna do our usual. Nope. Um, does she still have advantage? Oh, do I have advantage? Yeah. Okay. He's retreating. So, um, 8 and 12, 20. Sure. 
So like a baby boy. He's not bloodied yet. Relatively fresh, this one. Um, Astragoth, you are up. Let's get a doot doot on these guys down here. Okay. Uh, I'll probably like move over here and then attack that one just because I don't want to hit okay. anybody else. Besides the shuriken bleeding, they're not bloodied. They don't have half their hit points yet. Well, let's see if I can change that. You folks did a great job of focus firing. First attack makes the second attack hits. Okay. Not for much. Fair. Um, so for this one, um, he is going to run like the Dickens, so he's going to take the dash action. This will provoke an opportunity attack from you, Lose. Okie Hit him. Cripple him. <laughs> Twelve. Yep. So he is bloodied as he continues to run off. Um, he will be... So he just moved... 40... Let me double check my math here. He just moved 35. So he's 25 off board. Okay. And uh, he'll okay. actually Let's shimmy wait. to the right. So he's going into cover to kind of mm. stop people from shooting at him. Yeah. Um, as he does, so she's just gonna yell at him, You coward! He does not seem to reply with anything besides <laughs> screams of <laughs> which he has been doing the entire time as he's running. Which is just an agreement. Yeah. <laughs> More than fair. Uh, I mean, so didn't he lead off with screaming when they were attacking us? They've just yes, become less, like, you know, like, this is battle my... cry and more just cry crying? <laughs> yeah. One was an attempt to sound awesome. One doesn't seem like it's being focused through any kind of prism of, like, emotion. It's just what's happening in response to, like, what's what's happening in his life right now. Like, the choices he's made have compounded to a point where he realizes that the only thing he can do is run and scream. Yeah. I guess there's more to life than screaming. <laughs> I'm going to slap Orlandis, I hope. Um, okay. Crit and the miss. So the crit will do... Jesus but Christ. It'll do normal damage it because I'm wearing adamant. So it'll do 15 instead of 26. They yeah. bleed too. What's that? They take their bleed damage. Oh yeah, throw me 2d4 please. Alright, so that'll be 4 and 3. Alright, they are Ooh. done. Um, and they're kind of spitting at you, like kind of in the fight, kind of trying to get past your defenses, grunting very heavily, and when the one kind of bites into your armor, um, kind of s spits out an insult um, in Jernarin, um, and those who are close enough who understand the language um, would realize that we may die, but you will too, Tin Man. <laughs> or I Damn, I don't ready understand you. a word. <laughs> Welcome yeah, just, to my life. Just, just Russian words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna I'm gonna use um direct the strike on um Oh god, what is his name? Ravik. Okay. So Bravik, yeah. what direct the strike says is you can use your reaction to make a single weapon attack. So it can be a weapon melee. Be weapon range, whatever weapon you're armed with. Use my sickle again. Seventeen yeah. and flashing seven. Good target. That'll bloody uh, it. If that is the case, this guy here. Yeah, that guy. Okay. Could I could I shove this guy or no? Yeah, you can. Could I have it? If you have a bonus action. I do have Wait, a bonus on. action. Let me reach but, the um, yeah, because it says specifically I have to take the attack action. Which you did not, so no. But, okay. Um, so I'll just use Knight's move. Nope. Nope. On no one. I will end my turn. Oh, it's done. Cast you up. Uh, we'll drop a Sacred Flame on the bloodied one. Okay. Fails to dodge. And then that's a bonus action healing word on Orlandis. Okay. Don't forget Six. you also still have your 
um, spiritual weapon. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, let's, uh... Huh. Do you want to do that instead of healing word on me? I, I think it's a move. Oh, it, no, it's no, a no, move. Sorry. It's an action oh, movement anyway. So it's, it's a bonus action to move it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's attack. attack. Okay. Either way, take your six hit points. Okay, thank you. Thank Bravic, you. more shooty attacks. I'm going to the melee. It's right here. Okay. Uh... Oh, that'll hit. You have advantage. And he has one condition still. For another five rounds. Two Ds. Nice. Bonus action. Doop. Doop. Ooh, fun fun. That's the first chatting I've seen in a while. Um, okay, so you, you cut him up in the back, and as he's kind of like just flesh tattered, kind of turns over his shoulder and kind of looks at you angrily, and then says something in Jannar's, which is probably something to do with you being a rat. Because <laughs> he's a bigot, and he's Betty. Love say you are up. <laughs> did she step away? She did. No, I'm here. Oh, okay. Uh... I just didn't see you on the screen. I was like... I don't know. Go. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use the dash action okay. to go here, and that's me. All right, Asher, go. What do you think I'm gonna do? Do do. Do you know <laughs> it? I'll hit the one. Would I be able to hit this one without any issues? The one south of Warland is. Yeah. You don't want to end the chat in there? Your allies don't provide cover or anything. No, I'm going to soften them up. <laughs> Besides, they can't, if they're dead, they can't hear my music. That's Unless true. Small. Both of those will hit. Alright. Doop doop. He is also bloodied. Uh, I, I just imagine, you know, a few plucks of the string, and all of a sudden he has blood coming out of his like his eyes, nose, and ears. <laughs> yes. Oh. Hey, John. Yeah. Um, that would make the armor fine, right? Since you hit with a crit. Uh, no. So adamantine can't be. Um, it's indestructible to that typing. Yeah. So no. You're oh, okay. Okay. But yes, that would be the case if it were not um, adamantine. Adamantine gotcha, can be gotcha. damaged. The armor can be damaged. It just can't be damaged by our um, those by ones. normal stuff. By yeah, mundane stuff. Asher got done. It'll go to the berserkers. Um, at this stage, they're just gonna go ham. The one who has one hit point okay. remaining will swing at uh, Ravik, um, and I think that misses fourteen. Yeah, sure does. And then the other, and that's with advantage too, this is depressing. And then the other one will swing at Orlandis and will hit a 24. So that will oh, do yeah. uh, 12 slashing. Ooh. They hit big when they do hit. It's just. Do they get their crushing blow once a turn? Once, period. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. They're rolling a d12 plus 3, so it can be either really high or really low. So True. I rolled a 9 plus 3, and then if the crushing blow had hit before, which it didn't, it would have been plus 6 instead of 3. Got you. So Orlandis up? Um, Orlandis will use direct the strike on Luce. Thrust? Hell yeah. And then, depending on if she yeah, hits... that's it. She doesn't okay. need to roll damage. That thing's dead. Oh. Um, and right. then... <laughs> That's right. I think that's uh, Foxen's first chatting. Ooh. So congrats, welcome to the club. Um, Orlandis... Um, Night nice moon. Okay. On those okay. okay. So she can move in on top of him or in between. Yeah, that works. Yeah. And then you're done? Yep. Castia. I will have the spiritual weapon move over now that Jonah has so helpfully reminded me that it exists. Yeah, I believe I can move and attack. <laughs> 
Yeah, I cannot move. I don't have control of the token to move it. Um, but That's strange. So I did it. I can move like how many feet? Twenty? Thirty? Oh, it's been a while since I played a clear. It'll take nine force damage. Uh huh. Wish I could see you do it now. Yes. So, okay. Cool. Yeah, and then a sacred flame is uh, my actual action. Eleven damage. Okay. So failed on the save. So gets bonked in the head, and then. Okay. Um, Castia done. Vravik, you are up. Step over his <laughs> Step onto his friend's corpse. Oh, <laughs> like your feet claws digging into his face. Alright. Well, as, as I jump at this guy. Alright. Oh, excuse it. me. Excuse me. And he has one condition. That'll kill. Okay, so you just kind of jump forward, bringing the sickle up and over, kind of like detaching it from, um, you know, the dead guy probably, and then poof, into his head. And he drops. Um, and I kill the music very suddenly. Um, okay, so that said, I'm going to give you a task to do because uh, I something just came over me that I need to use a restroom. I apologize for the graphic nature of that statement. But we discussed last session that you already have enough experience and to level. To level. Um, so uh, let me double check here. Did that include the Berserkers? It did not. No. So I'm going to go ahead and give you them real quick. Um, there were five of them. No, six of them. Mm -hmm. five, six. And then the leader. No, five in the leader, sorry. Okay, so he is worth a bit more. About 100, and then 450 times five, plus 1100, divided by five, 670 apiece. And then um, for all intents and purposes, when I get back, uh, we'll be discussing, and just feel free to talk amongst yourselves to keep the, the video lively I guess I don't care do what you want but um, be sure to uh, note that there is still the um, bad roll uh, before we get into uh, the town um, yeah and I already have how that's gonna go and I kind of described it won't be too bad but just go ahead and get the leveling out of the way be right back okay. Okay. six seventy a piece he said yes I marked it. Someone do the math for me. <laughs> Maybe that's enough for me to look. Okay, we gotta do the thing now. Okay, so level seven. We're long resting, right? Yeah, because this is okay. from the long rest that we did before we left. Oh, um, before. Just, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're do oh, shit. We're doing average HP. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I always have a freaking phone. That's. A lot of HP. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Beautiful. We're almost there, y'all. Oh, Duelist Archetype. I have to manually put all mine in. <laughs> I'll, use, I'll, use, I'll use five plus my constitution modifier, right? What? For, For your. You have a D8, right? Yeah. Oh, D6, yeah, D8. Yeah, five plus con mod. And then if you have anything that gives you extra HP per level, you can use that too, if you have it. Um, okay, so I, now... I didn't know earlier, I, uh, the first six levels I just rolled my D8. <laughs> oh, gotcha. So now my commanding presence is 30 feet, you guys. 
Nice. Nice. So if we're ever in like a small building, boom, all of you. My <laughs> <laughs> new ability too, sweet. Hey, Ooh, what's nice. a new ability? Press and slash. Ooh. Ninja. I'm a samurai now. Also. <laughs> Geometric shapes. <laughs> Geometry. Oh yes, so I got that. All of you can add plus two whenever I use direct to strike on you. Hell yeah! Plus two initiative? No, to your attack. Oh okay. With a weapon. Has to be specifically for weapon. Four. If you're just in my commit, my presence. Yeah, if you use like a reaction to attack, then it, it, you get two bonus. Nice. Hell yeah, I do. So I get like to now bio, prey yeah. on panic. Does that mean I can just kind of like you know I'm going to use my my turn to ready in action? <laughs> I you come, you come you come within ten feet of me. I'm going to throw my pickle at your ass. I think so. Oh, that's a reaction. Right? I'm not sure. Sorry, I'm trying to close. Oh, are you going to fix that text? What? That text, are you going to fix it? What text? The decisive blade? Oh, it's yeah. Got, it's got two little dots on the top. <laughs> I'm not going to fix it. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, Boom wows are awesome. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was bad. It was very bad. Okay, so... I'm just going to check something real quick, because I think I know what you were trying to say, Elizabeth, and I think you might be right, and I am wrong, but hold on, let me double check, regarding intimidation, because I think your subclass grants it, right? Yeah, I That's, was looking at it I've, I'm just double checking. while trying to do this. I know, just, yeah, I'll, do, I'll focus on that mm. real quick. Um, okay, so duelists get two skills. Two. And yeah, those would have been noted I at the beginning. I already got those set up. And then the two that you got for your uh, athlete are also in there. I got those. Mm -hmm. And then the perception which you get for being an elf is also on there. So then mm -hmm. duelist, archetype, death dancer, which is just a fucking rad name. You gain <laughs> proficiency on charisma saving throws. You gain... Yeah. Better danger die fun times. God damn. Which I hardly ever use on It'll come up here in the town and also moving forward, promise. We're dealing with humans, <laughs> not psychopaths, so Finally <laughs> Stay <laughs> stay in a town <laughs> and, and don't fight the like directly like challenge the the folks. Like yeah, because the Denisotin things you guys kinda tipped tiptoed around and like well when... also like every time we were in a stop and fight i was like on the other side of the fucking board yeah that's true <laughs> wait no, group. let me challenge <laughs> that i was like oh can Running i jump out the this window <laughs> she's like oh pretty flower oh wait <laughs> i challenge you to a duel boring. That's funny. So, yeah. Just throws open the shutters. I challenge you! <laughs> Get the fuck over here! You stay right there! So if you aren't proficient at, at fifth levels when you gained it, if you aren't proficient with uh, intimidation, you gain intimidation. That's Additionally, you also gain expertise in it. So which means yeah. you double your proficiency bonus for it. Um, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, so that, that was my fault not putting that on.